This program is made possible by support from Vertec Waste Industries Incorporated. Vertec will take care of it. I'm standing on a moving conveyor so that I can show you how we take biomass and turn it into electricity on this episode of Curiosity Quest. It stopped moving, right? Yes. Okay, thank goodness. I was a little nervous there. wood and this light bulb have in common? Curious? Well, on today's episode of Curiosity Quest Goes Green, we'll find out. You see, I got a letter from Paul in Rancho Cucamonga, and Paul wrote, Dear Joel, I'm curious, how do people make electricity? Well, Paul, there are a few ways, but on today's episode of CQ Goes Green, we're going to explore an environmentally friendly way, and it has something to do with all this wood around us. I'm Joel Green, and let's begin today's Curiosity Quest. Wood Recovery, and I'm standing here with Pat Heaney, the owner. Now, Pat, first question, is wood recyclable? Oh, absolutely. And obviously, we have a lot of wood behind us. Where is it all coming from? Well, it comes from all over Southern California. Any company that manufactures something out of wood will have waste wood. Other companies might have uh, wooden pallets that are broken. They'll send them over. Mm -hmm. uh, lumber yards. So any, anyone that uses wood will end up with waste wood, and hopefully they send it over here. <laughs> now, obviously, uh, the wood is, we're trying to divert from the landfill. Yes. And is this one way of diverting wood from the landfill? Absolutely. And bring it to you, huh? 20 <laughs> years ago, there was none of this. Really? Anywhere. So it was all going into the landfill. Yes. And obviously, this takes up a lot of space. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How much wood will you receive in a day? Uh, in a day, we'll do 300 tons. Oh my goodness! That's an what? Average day. That's a lot of, lot of wood. That's a lot of wood. Well, where will this wood be going? Well, many places. Uh, the bulk of our wood, the preponderance of tonnage, goes to Colmac Energy, which is out in Mecca, California, near Indio. Mm -hmm. That's a uh, electrical generating plant. They burn it in order to generate steam to turn turbines to make electricity. Oh, so wait, wait, let me get this straight. As you heard in the intro, the wood that was going into landfill is now being turned into energy? Electricity. Electricity? Yep. Huh, and you're gonna show us how this all works, right? Hope to. <laughs> Hope to. All right, well, let's take us around the yard. Sure. Where does the wood go when you recycle it? To a wood chopper. Swimming pool. And the trash. It goes and they kind of, sh I think they shred it up into pieces. In a dumpster? Wood factory? <laughs> My neighbor's house. A uh, hydro plant where it could be ground up into pulp to make particle board or to make other type of products. What will you do with big boxes that come in here? Well, if it won't fit in the grinder, we take our big front end tractor loaders and we'll just hammer it with a bucket of a loader until it breaks apart. Wow, so you don't sit out there with hammers, you and your guys, no. and try to, okay. Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. How about this? Today, the U.S. has the same amount of forest land as it had in 1920, despite a 143% increase in population. That's incredible. Pat, what about this? That's good. That's good. We keep that one. What about this? That's fine. But it's full of nails. The machine will take it out with the magnets. All right. What about this one? This is like real wood, is it? It's good enough. It's good enough. All right, wait. Oh, hey, what about this? No. That, that goes in the trash. Oh, that goes in the trash. What if you don't take this off? 
We take it off. <laughs> but what if you don't? <laughs> oh my goodness, it's like, oh, that's this guy. All right. Hey, Joel, don't bother filling out an application. <laughs> I got demoted. <laughs> oh, you know what, sir? Sir, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. businesses are bringing you wood can everyday people bring wood to a recycling uh, place yeah absolutely absolutely oh, okay yeah. so you take it as well yeah providing it meets our criteria okay which is clean wood or yes not lead based paint running exactly. okay so what I did is uh, I'm working on a fence at home and so I brought the, well, the ears the dog ears from the top of that fence uh -huh. so, whoa, whoa, I like that so I can bring let me see how much my weight is here on the Oh, is on this 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 part? All right, so I have wait wait negative twenty <laughs> negative twenty pounds, but you'll still accept it and use it as part of the recycling Absolutely. process. Absolutely. I'm glad that you'll you'll take my my small my load here. We love it. You love it, huh? <laughs> Not that way. <laughs> How is wood recycled? Chopped up into little pieces to my other neighbor's house. Put it in a box, turn it into paper. It's recycled by getting cut into tiny little pieces. They get this machine and put the wood in it, and it, goes, and it breaks it into pieces. All right, so now the fr front loaders, right? Yes. Are taking it, and they're just moving it from this pile behind us. This is the, uh, what, about 150 tons, you said, behind uh, us? At least that. Big pile, and then they're going to be just sliding it on this, uh, Conveyor dump, belt, huh? Dump it over the side onto the conveyor. All right. Well, these uh, four chain conveyors will move the wood forward. There's a big drum at the top. Mm -hmm. That big drum will come down and push the wood into the mill. The mill is that four foot diameter section in there. Mm -hmm. It's got 24 hammers on it. That, is that what I'm holding? Well, you're, you're holding a hammer tip. You told me to hold these, so a hammer tip? Yes. Every hammer has one tip bolted onto it, and they swing around, and as they're swinging very fast, they're hitting the wood and fracturing the wood into small pieces. Dude, let me tell you, these are heavy. Yeah. I mean, these are really heavy. That's just a tip. That's just a tip. So that's what chops all the wood up. Yes. Now, what's the difference between the two here? This is worn out. <laughs> oh, this is a used one. Yeah, it's a used one. This is a new one. So once it goes through this part and gets ground up, it doesn't take very long at all. No, not at all. As we can Real see. Fast. Wow. And then what happens next? Well, it comes up this machine and goes into another machine that we call a double deck vibrating screen. Double deck vibrating screen, okay. Basically, the essence of the machine is there's two decks, the wood goes on the top deck, and there's screen wire on the top deck. Mm -hmm. And the size of the opening of the screen determines what will fit through and what won't. Okay. So the large material keeps going across that screen, comes out our number three conveyor, smaller material will fall down to the second screen, which is smaller, has smaller holes. If the material won't fit through those holes, it'll keep going and come out our number two conveyor. And if it's real small material, it goes all the way through that screen and comes out our number one conveyor. Wow, so you, you have three piles essentially. Yes. Three piles, and then the metal gets pulled out, the, the magnet pulls out all the metal. At the end of every conveyor, there's a uh, head pulley magnet removes the metal and puts it into a container wow. that we end up sending to our recycler. What can be made out of recycled wood? Wooden cans, house, paper or water bottles, paper, a desk, paper, paper, and plastic. So now with the three piles, we know that one pile is becoming electricity. Yes. Do the other two piles become electricity? Now the other two piles are used generically for landscape applications. Some is to make uh, fertilizer, some is to, uh, one is a real good product, real clean wood, it'll be used for playground safety surfacing. Ah, okay, wow. So you're using all the wood that you're recycling. Everything that comes in is recycled. Wow, that 
That is, I'm, I'm totally impressed. <laughs> we're making energy from wood, and we're also keeping our playground safe for children to play in. Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. Did you know that scientists have discovered that when forests have become old and overgrown, trees begin to use more oxygen than they produce? Young, well-managed forests tend to be most efficient at absorbing carbon dioxide and producing oxygen. All right, so it's done grinding. It's separated in the with three piles. Yeah. And then now what behind us is heading over to be turned into electric. Energy. Electric energy, okay. So they'll take uh, several bucket loads and put them in there, huh? Twelve of those buckets uh, fill a truck. Twelve buckets, wow. Wow, all right. So I'm still uh, I'm still curious of how this is uh, gonna become energy, but uh, well, I guess we'll find out at Colmac, huh? Yeah, you will. All right, so Pat, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thanks for coming. You bet. Don't come back. <laughs> I'll bring bigger piles next time, I promise. <laughs> All right, so off the Colmac we go. Time to turn all this into electricity. How do I get down? Ow, I got a splitter! And how do they get the wood out of the back of big trucks? Maybe like a big crane or a forklift or you can carry it out. And they use a tow truck, they pick it up and then they drop it on the ground. Like kind of like a bulldozer? and pick it up and put it on the ground. They push it out. A uh, mat that you wind up and it rolls off the back of the truck. A car that carries it. A bulldozer. Can you change the subject? Ropes and carry it. We have made our way out to Mecca in the Southern California desert. And it's now time for us to put this wood to work. But first, we must empty out the trucks. So how do you do this, you ask? Well, you just pick the truck up and dump it out the back. No, I'm not kidding. Check this out. How many of you out there think that I can lift this 18-wheeler truck up with my bare finger? All right, so the truck's back up into a stall. You open up the back, and while everyone's out of the truck, the truck driver lifts the truck up. Is this incredible or what? Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. Processing wood produces no waste, but rather reusable byproducts. Now Jerry out at Colmac is going to let me lift an 18-wheeler. All right, tell me what to do. Push the two green buttons. At the same time? Yes. All right, here we go. It starts up your hydraulic. All right, ig, ig, all right. Oh, I heard that. Now. With this? That joystick, go ahead and push it up. Here we go. Keep it going. <laughs> so, in essence, I am lifting with one finger. With one finger, you're raising that truck. Yeah. About what? 20 million tons? Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just say yes, Jerry. Say yes, Jerry. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. One finger, 20 million tons. <laughs> oh my goodness! This is good. Now, do I have to stay here this whole time? I do. I got myself into this. I guess I have to stand here. <laughs> All right, that finger's getting tired. I have to go to this finger now. <laughs> That's a better sign. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, because I can see the progress. Okay, it's not moving as fast as I need it to move. <laughs> can, I, can I get a bottle of water over here, please? All right, good. Am I done yet? You're only about a quarter of the way up. A quarter of the way up. You got the slower one too. I got the slow one. You didn't tell me that. I'm spent. Ah. Jerry, thanks for the exercise. I appreciate it. All right. So let's go back in the hopper, huh? All right.
Once the trucks are emptied, the wood starts to make its way down a series of conveyor belts. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's put it back out. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! That smelled. It was wet. It was dusty. That's all the complaints I have. All right, so we're going to follow it down the line, huh? Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. Did you know that wood is recyclable, biodegradable, and durable, sometimes lasting for centuries? When it is no longer needed, it can be returned to the earth. Jerry, why do you have these big screens that you can see from miles away? It's for dust abatement purposes also. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a windbreak is what it is. You can appreciate the wind cycle where they're blowing. So we, we do have a breeze, and yet, we don't feel anything here. No? So, so uh, it keeps the dust down, so to say. You know, keeps the wood where we want it. <laughs> Not in people's backyards, huh? <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're tall. Really tall. Yes. Right. tall. And then I noticed behind you here, I don't want to watch out because it looks like metal is flinging your way. Um, what's this here? This is a metal collection area. What we have here is a magnetic separator for the conveying system. What it does, it'll, it'll pick out whatever metal's in the wood. Not all of it, but a good wow, percentage yeah. of it uh, before it makes its way into the borders. So metal so isn't metal, good, huh? <laughs> oh, no, metal, well, metal doesn't burn for one, and it's very abrasive, and it lots of wear to the equipment, so we try to pull it out and pull it out here before it causes any problems. Now, we noticed that when we were at Apollo, they had a magnet that was pulling out metal as well, nails and whatnot. Well, unfortunately, there's a lot of metal in, in this material when it's processed. It's all construction waste old buildings, whatnot, so, you know, most of it is nails and, okay. and, and screws, and so uh, they try out there to pull some out, and we try out here. This is not the only system. I got two more others just exactly the same. Wow, either further down the stream. Further down the stream, yes. Wow. Further down the stream. There's a lot of greenways. I mean, all the gardening that goes around, all the tree trimmings, uh, forest removal for fire protection and whatnot, it, it makes its way down here. All right. And this is a long conveyor system behind us here. <laughs> and it, we're, we're it's not the longest that we have here, though. Wow. Now, after the wood makes its way down one conveyor, it goes to another and then another where it gets piled up high for storage. All right, we are on top of the big wood chip pile in front of a big old dozer. Jerry, come on, man. You gotta let me get up here and, and drive this. Well, now that you're done your, your inspection around it, I guess I will. I'll, I'll <laughs> let you operate it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a childhood dream, all right? I'm king of the world! people down below me going like <laughs> Woo, that bucket re-entry is kind of a uh, kind of hard Too close to the edge, though. <laughs> and then it waits to go on, uh, yeah, you guessed it, another conveyor belt, where it's finally brought into the plant. So what goes on in that plant? All right, the wood chips are now ready to go to work. So I'm standing in control tower at Colmac with Graham Donaldson. Now, Graham, tell us, how is this going to become electricity? Okay. 
Well, we bring all the wood up after we've conditioned it down to three inch minus, and we'll bring it into the feed system, up into what we call metering bins. And from there, we'll actually feed it through, moving back this way to the boiler. And it feeds into the system here and down into the main combustor. From there, we'll actually burn all the wood inside the fluidized bed and create sufficient heat to create steam which will then drive a steam turbine to create the power. So the wood, how it becomes electricity is turning into steam basically? Basically, yeah, it's, it's as simple as that. You're burning the wood under a controlled condition to minimize pollutants to create power. All the wood that we consume here, about 375,000 tons of wood waste, goes into making the energy each wow. year. Now, if we didn't do this, it would either be open field burned or land filled, mm -hmm. which is not an option to us. We can burn it, we can create energy, and we can do it efficiently and sure. reliably, and that's the trick. Now, I've, I've read you know, some information I got from you guys. When, we, when you open field burn it or you put in a landfill, that's very corrosive to the environment. Versus going this route, how much pollutants are... You reduce the pollutants by a factor of about uh, 25 to 30 times. If you open field burn, you create so much uncontrolled NOx and SOx and greenhouse gas that it will just pollute your environment, as we've seen with the, the fires. Yeah. Yeah. We could burn all that material if it, would, if it could be collected, and we could burn it in the plant, and you wouldn't see a drop of it. Wow. I noticed that even at the top of the stacks here, there's nothing. Nothing's well, coming out. <laughs> we still have controlled pollutants, but we use a certain number of techniques to control those pollutants to minimize them and still stay within our permit conditions. Wow. Wow. Now, what happens to the ash from the wood? All the ash that we make here, we actually put into the cement industry. Nothing is wasted, everything is recycled. So all the ash that we generate goes into concrete formulations as an additive. Mm -hmm. And we sell that into the cement industry in Southern California. Wow. So nothing is wasted at all. Everything gets reused and recycled. Wow. And that's one of the nice things about renewable energy. If it's done right, you can recycle just about everything. And, and the only, I guess the only ingredient is wood? Wood and a little bit of natural gas to start the combustion process off, and that's it. That's it. 25 wow. tons per hour per boiler, so we're burning about 50 tons an hour of wood waste, wow. which will be in the landfill or open field burn. My and that's the best way to get rid of wood waste. Sure. Is to reuse it like that. Some of it can be reused for erosion control and Caltrans projects, but the bulk of it goes into creating energy. Fun fact. Fun fact, fun fact. Every year, six additional trees are planted for every one that is harvested. What does electricity, where does it go? What does it look like? Well, you can't see it. I mean, it's just, it's an invisible commodity, for want of a better description. Sure. You're creating it from nothing. And you basically, it's an ongoing effect that you move one electron, hits another one, creates the energy, and continues the path to the point of end use. Wow, wow. I'm amazed. <laughs> I'm amazed. I'm amazed. You know, you see something so visible as a fuel source, but what you're producing is invisible. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. You're you right. Make it, you make it invisible. I mean, piles and piles of yeah. wood out there. Well, about 16,000 tons just now. 16. That's enough for two weeks worth of burn. Okay. Two, wow. Because we're burning about 1,200 tons per day of wood waste. Wow. What is biomass? Mesh. A train? Biomass is probably something that weighs the trash. Biological like? A story about someone in a mask? No clue. Someone buying something? Air? It's uh, citrus, that type of material. It can be construction material, but unpainted, unvarnished. So they really give it a generic term called biomass, but it's woods in different forms, trees, branches, grape sticks that are untreated. We can take any material provided it's untreated. So here's a recap. All this wood is being burned to create steam, to turn a turbine or a big engine that makes electricity. How cool is that? Here we are, the last link in the chain of turning wood into electricity. And now it's coming to you. 
I want to thank everyone here at Colmac and everyone at Apollo Wood and of course Paul for sending us on today's Curiosity Quest. Now if there's something that you're curious about, why don't you let me know? Go to kvcr.org, click on the Curiosity Quest link, and who knows, it could be you that sends us on our next Curiosity Quest. Now, remember, it's our responsibility to save our environment. So I'm curious, have you gone green? I'm Joel Green and I'll see you next time. Ah! <laughs>